Folks, it's a warm night across the valley. Temperatures still in the upper 80s in the west, low to mid 80s in the east. Brownsville's at 81, 82, Harlem's at 83 in Raymondville. But again, still 86 in McAllen, 87 in Rio Grande City. And the humidity's up, so it still feels warmer than what it really is. Still feels like 88 in Brownsville, still feels like the same thing in Westlaco. These are your dew points now, and these are getting into summer like levels as you might expect, especially in the eastern part of the valley, over the average on the muggy meter of about 75. So we're definitely up into the very humid category, which is what you expect this time of year. And again, we're likely to stay in that range now for a while until we get something to change the air mass, and there's nothing that's going to do that anytime soon. For the middle part of June, about 94 is the average high, and we're going to go 99, 100, 101. If we hit that 101 on Saturday, that'll tie a record. Certainly going to be warm across pretty much all the valley. And keep in mind, those are average highs across the valley. Western half warmer, eastern half probably a little bit cooler. Now, satellite radar today been pretty much quiet, patchy clouds. That's about it. And you can see that overnight tonight, what clouds are out there should fade away, and then tomorrow it's mostly sunny and hot. Once again, temperatures at least as warm as today. We continue going forward into Friday. Same thing, partly to mostly sunny, hot again. And Saturday, yet another day that's rain free and probably even hotter, partly to mostly sunny with temperatures climbing as we showed you up to near 100. Rain chances, eh, nothing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. In fact, our next rain chance probably comes about the middle of next week courtesy of the tropics, and we're not sure exactly what form that's going to come in just yet, uh, but at least we think the chance of rain is going to increase because of this thing right here. And inside that yellow circle, there's nothing right now, and that's pretty much what we expect to see inside that yellow circle. We're talking about nothing developing in two days. Zero percent. We're confident in that forecast. Five days out, we're pretty confident that we're going to see something fire up in this area by the time we get to the end of the weekend, first to next week. The question marks are what happens after that, seven, eight, nine, ten days down the road. Most of the models take whatever this does and keep them south of us, kind of going into Mexico well to the south. But still, we've got to just keep a close eye on that. And we're going to do that. Uh, there's a slight risk some of it could sneak up the coast. We'll watch that next week. Next half hour, we'll show you some more of the models. Out in the middle of the Atlantic or the far eastern Atlantic, one other system with a slight chance of developing in the days ahead. If you're headed to the beach now, what a great time it'll be to be there. Sunshine, warm, 87 in the morning, southeasterly winds all day long. UV is extreme. Rip current risk is moderate. Surf temperature is about 84, so the water is still very warm. Tides show a low at uh, just after midnight. High tides 945 in the morning. So tonight, 79, clear. That's a muggy night tonight. Southeasterly winds. Then tomorrow, a lot of sunshine, a lot of heat. It's going to be humid as well. Highs up to 99 degrees. Here we go. Next seven days, it actually gets up to warmer numbers than that. 100, 101. Sunday for uh, Father's Day, 98. And then next week, we kind of bring it back down, increase, introduce the chance of a shower by about Wednesday. That is your very warm, updated First One Five forecast. Joel.